And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast. Hi, Kevin Selle in the Weather Center. Interesting forecast coming up here for the rest of the week, even into early next week. Had kind of a chilly day on Tuesday, but Wednesday's looking a little bit warmer. 55 after a cold start in the 20s. 55 will be a nice warm up, a little bit above average. Plenty of sunshine, not particularly windy. We have a snow event though, a winter weather event coming up on Thursday. This is an early look. It will change. Not doing snow totals just yet, but in the northwestern portion of the region, we are looking for mostly snow. And it could be several inches, uh, depending upon the storm track. Then we get a wintry mix, probably starting as rain and then changing over to some snow in the pink areas. And southern, southeastern portions of the Panhandle, sorry, looks like primarily rain for you on this event. Again, we will adjust as we go along. So sunny and warmer on Wednesday. Precipitation developing Thursday, not so much in the morning, but by midday through the afternoon and then on into the evening hours, again, depending upon the storm and the exact uh, st uh, <laughs> storm track. Snow most likely northwest and then a mix or rain across the central and south. Had some rain moving away from the panhandle as we got through Tuesday evening. That was storm, I guess, number one of really three in this forecast. You can kind of see it on the water vapor imagery a little bit. Look at the spin near Midland going toward the Big Bend region south of San Angelo. That didn't get close enough to bring much in the way of rainfall other than across the southern portions of the Panhandle. But here comes the next storm system. We had a pretty good spin there just west of Seattle, and that part of it's kind of going to stay up there. But if you notice the yellow, how it drops down towards San Francisco, makes sort of a U shape there. Well, that's the next storm system. That's the trough of low pressure. Out ahead of it, we've got a little ridge coming up into there in Wyoming, the yellow sea in uh, Utah and uh, Colorado. So we're under that on Wednesday, quiet day. But here comes the trough. Air always flows counterclockwise toward the center of low pressure. So Thursday into the afternoon hours, ahead of it, we've got, ahead of the storm, we've got uh, a warm, moist flow. Southerly flow is a warmer direction. But as it comes over, as it starts to pass on by, again with that counterclockwise flow, here comes some colder air. And that's what will change us over to some snow as we go from Thursday night into early Friday morning. So here's the computer forecast model through time. Early Thursday, mostly cloudy skies. They'll thicken up. And then as we get into midday, we see some precipitation starting across the western portions of the region and then increasing in coverage. All of that bluish purple color, that's snow. This is one computer forecast model. And then it's, uh, rain, the green in the east and southeastern portions of the region. So we're going to watch it through time keep you posted. That storm, by the way, is just coming into uh, the West Coast early in the day on Wednesday, so we'll get in a balloon network. We'll have a better chance to sample it. We'll get more information. So Wednesday's quiet. I bet that precipitation chance goes up on Thursday, higher than 70%, 36 for the high temperature. There should be just enough cold air, again, especially across the Northwest. Some lingering precipitation is not out of the question on Friday, 43 there. Another weak one comes by Saturday, less than 10% chance of a drop or two on Saturday, but otherwise mostly cloudy skies. And then another chance for some wintry precipitation. That storm is also looking very interesting. And I think the precipitation chance or the probability will go up for Monday of next week. And of course, we will continue to watch it.